Families often feel a solemn obligation to preserve the memory of their loved ones who have passed away. In the fall of 1944, Marion Matthews was thousands of miles from his home and family as he stormed the picturesque beaches of Moratai in present-day Indonesia. The fighting was bitter, and on September 30, 1944, Matthews gave the last full measure of devotion and was buried in a hastily established cemetery in New Guinea. Finally, in 1948, nearly four years after his death, he was returned home and buried at Andersonville National Cemetery. Today, the task of caring for Marion Matthews and the thousands of others laid to rest at Andersonville National Cemetery falls to one of his nieces, who is the park's cemetery administrator. More than 70 years have passed since his death, and Marion Matthews' story is a powerful reminder that losses can be felt and remembered by families for years afterwards.